This is a pain in my ass. to this place called Majors Medical Service and they're the place that I will be getting either a wheelchair or a mobility scooter through and today we're going to be um, I'm gonna be trying out the mobility scooter to kind of get a feel for it um, I won't know a hundred percent sure you know my decision I think until I try out my grandmother's scoot, um, wheelchair um, because like that's a electric scooter and I think part of me thinks already thinks that it'll work better for me and it'll be more fitting into my lifestyle that I have but I'm um, still going to give the mobility scooter a try because if I can get something now that's better than later on you know um, the only downsides to the mobility scooter is the turning radius and the fact that it has a whole nother thing in the front I'm pretty sure most places yeah, hold on. I'm pretty sure that most places um, don't think about mobility scooters when they're thinking of accessibility. And I'm 20, so if I want to go to concerts and um, conf conferences and all that stuff that I like to watch and actually go, you know, to those things, a mobility scooter is going to be in the way. And who, like you're not going to be able to park it into the middle of the aisle because that's a fire hazard and I can't keep it away from me because then you know I need I need it beside me and I really don't want to have to sit on it the whole time I would want to be able to transfer over to a chair um so I still just think a wheelchair would be um I guess so much more versatile, I don't know if that's the right word, um, for my life and would fit in it. So I'm going to have my mom video me using the scooter. Hi, so I'm back from trying out the mobility scooter today and I was um, like excited when I got to try out a electric wheelchair there. I did not think I was going to be able to do that so I was like really really happy probably didn't look like it but I was very very happy um, my mom thought she was videoing me like for a while but apparently she was just taking pictures um, <laughs> so I lost a lot of like things I said and stuff at the place and um, it didn't like I knew it there but it didn't connect in my head that hey you need to redo all of that because she was taking pictures so I'm just going to like um, stop here and let you watch the little footage that I do have of when I was there trying out the scooter and wheelchair, um, and then I'll let you know my thoughts. <laughs> Are you recording? Yes. <laughs> the whole time my mom has been thinking she's recording, she's been taking pictures. <laughs> afraid you're gonna run over a cat or a ferret. It's like you're parking a car. There you go, right there. You didn't turn it off.
this is a pain in my ass. So, um, as you saw, or and hopefully heard, I'm probably going to add subtitles maybe to that area of the video. I'll add subtitles for the whole video, but on the actual video, I'll put subtitles there, I think, because it was so loud there that you could barely hear me. Um, but, um, we have decided that a um, wheelchair is, like, the best option for me. Um, the mobility scooter's turn radius is really crappy, it won't fit in my bathroom, it won't fit in the house, um, putting it together is a pain in the ass. Oh my god, is it a pain in my ass. I really want something I don't have to take apart. I really, really want something I don't have to take apart. Because getting up and down, up and down just seems like a very good way to faint. Like, another con of the mobility scooter is that, like, I think finding a place to park it is going to be a pain. You know, if I want to go to a concert or the movie theater, I can't leave it in the hall. In the hall. In the, um, like, I can't think the walkway, you know, because it's a fire hazard, and I couldn't get very comfortable on a mobility scooter, so I would want to transfer. I think if I had a wheelchair, I could be pretty comfortable on it, um, but, like, people don't, I honestly don't think people think about mobility scooters when they're thinking of accessibility and ex wheelchair accessibility because you know it's always wheelchair accessibility you never hear about mobility scooter accessibility and you know it it might be like kind of like bubbled into that but I don't think able-bodied people know that you know like when I went into the wheelchair evaluation I didn't even think about mobility scooters I didn't. I didn't even think that would be an option. I like if I did, I would have researched about it, and I would have known. I didn't think it was going to work. Um, beforehand, but like, I'm just was really hoping it would work, but it's not going to. So our options now are to go to my GP and get him to put more information down on the prescription, and then go back to the drawing board possibly find a different physical therapist because that one the one I was working with doesn't seem like she wants to be too helpful um she's kind of has her own opinions and her opinions are based off of like wrong assumptions if that makes sense so I don't know I don't see her being very helpful and me and her just didn't get along at all um, so the likelihood of her wanting to help me, I think, is even lower now. Um, there is a wheelchair through Costway that, um, is kind of like a knockoff of the Easy Light Cruiser, and it's a lot cheaper, too. So we are going to start trying up, trying to save up to that, but it's probably going to take, like, nine months or longer to do that which is really sad but um I can't buy it outright and one of my fears of buying this is that it's not going to last very long and then if it breaks you know insurance won't um fix it because insurance didn't buy it now why don't I try to get a wheelchair through insurance that's lightweight which is kind of what I want um, none of them are coded for insurance. None of them, which is stupid. It's a little too complicated for me to explain it to y'all, but basically, they're not heavy duty enough for Medicaid to want to code them. And since Medicaid doesn't code them, the rest of insurance companies don't because most insurance companies follow what Medicaid does. That's my understanding. So we're going to have to buy it outright. Um, if we want that. Now, an option through insurance would be getting a type of wheelchair like I tried today. 
it wouldn't be the exact one I tried because that particular one wasn't coded for insurance. So, um, there's one like it, and it does come apart, but my plan, if I got it, would to be just drive it up into my car, you know, with the power of the, like, the wheelchair itself, if that makes sense. Um, and I think that would be really good, actually, because it'd be a heavy duty, heavy duty, you know, and an insurance could fix it, or help fix it if... Um, it got broken for any reason like that, and honestly, that is the best scenario. But until that happens, um, we're going to save up to possibly buy, like, a knockoff version of the Easy Light Cruiser. Um, but we're really hoping we don't have to do that. So, um, I wanted to mention some... I wanted to mention something, but I forgot. Oh, yeah. Um, now, to get insurance to cover an electric wheelchair, I need a more firm diagnosis because I have postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome um, diagnosed, and I also have rheumatoid arthritis. I have the um, juvenile, what do you fuck? I have the polyarticular type. Um, and. Apparently that is not enough to need an electric wheelchair. Um, it doesn't, like, the POTS kind of explains my weakness, I think. But, um, I think, honestly, there's, like, some neurological things going on with me. Because I, um, have some issues talking and, like, word processing. So, like, making videos is shown to be very hard to get, like what I want out and I thought we like my neurologist thought that beforehand but it's like even more apparent the more I do videos um, because I can watch myself later and it's I say wrong words I slur I do all these things you know so mm. when I get my firm diagnosis when we find out what's like wrong with all, when we find like all the answers you know getting a wheelchair would probably be very easy the problem is waiting until then I'm not safe and I'm, it's already like it took I've been telling my parents I've been sick since I was in middle school you know so it's just it's been taking way too long and now it's getting to the point where I'm getting hurt and I fainted today I have no energy to do anything. Like, I'm stuck in the house. I have no life because of my illnesses. And I need this wheelchair because it'll just make everything more easier. Even getting a diagnosis easier because I wouldn't be canceling so many appointments because I can't take myself, you know? If you've been noticing, my mom's been taking me and she has to take off work for that. And that's not good I need to be independent because I'm 20 doesn't matter if I'm sick or not I should be able to be independent and so sooner I get a wheelchair to be able to do that that I can transport by myself you know I'm stuck so and in closing we're gonna go to my GP and get more information down to hopefully try to get a wheelchair before I get a more firmer diagnosis. Um, but if not, then we'll go back to them again once we get a better diagnosis, I guess. I really don't know how to say that. I kind of feel like I'm going to have to wait until I get a diagnosis. But I'm not giving up. I'm going to try to get a wheelchair before that happens because I'm disabled now. You know, not once I get that diagnosis. So let's hope I can find a physical therapist that understands that and is willing to help me. Because the lady I worked with last time just... was really ignorant about chronic illnesses because she doesn't really deal with people like me. She normally deals with people that have to... that are so disabled 
that they like are using their head to drive their wheelchair or um, maybe they're using their foot to drive their wheelchair or something like that you know so she's not really used to people that are able to walk that need a wheelchair and like especially an electric wheelchair so she's kind of like I feel like she's kind of like being she's judging me really on how invisible my illnesses are and it sucks because she's supposed to be the person to help me and she's not so I'm really sorry this vlog wasn't a very happy vlog today but um Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.